Divine Feminine and welcome to your power message for Friday, Fabulous Friday. I love this message. The main thing that's standing out for me on this calendar today is the frog. Look at that gorgeous frog and he seems to be smiling there. So frogs are about things leaping forwards, about leaps of faith. I'm really connecting with the frog in the same way that I'm connecting with the energy of what's going to be happening as we move into the water rabbit in 2023. So I feel this about leaping ahead, opportunities, enlightenment, encouragement, great things ahead. And also remembering that to get to union, we have to go through some frogs. You know, they say to meet your prince or to get your prince, you have to kiss a few frogs. We have to go through the hard times to end up in union. We have to go through the struggles. So the frog is not really a representation here of other people. It's all the pain and darkness you go through to get where you're meant to be. And this is a real energy today coming through of the light being at the end of the tunnel. So because of that, I want to bring in the Love and Light Oracle by Doreen Virtue. Now, the message says, I am, which is an affirmation. I am comfortable. So I feel this about you feeling comfortable in your own skin, comfortable in your connection, comfortable in the knowledge of who you are. Comfortable knowing that better things are ahead. And you are comfortable today because you're receiving comfort from heaven. The right guidance at the right time. A message that makes you feel better. That puts your mind at rest. That brings in peace. I am comfortable looking in the mirror. And remember, be comfortable looking at your twin. They are your mirror. So whenever they are doing or not doing or saying or not saying is bringing up things in you for healing especially if you're looking at their life and it's triggering you what triggers you is healing you so you're being reminded that your masculine is your greatest teacher and is a mirror to you just like you're their greatest teacher and a mirror to them so you're now becoming more comfortable with looking at the situation looking at them what they are doing you're becoming more comfortable with it because you're accepting of it and you're realizing more and more about what this journey is and you're understanding more and more about why this journey happens the way it does so you're becoming more at peace with it so I feel this is you becoming more comfortable looking at the situation and expressing appreciation for it because you're in gratitude and healing more of the time so you're realizing why those things happen I'm so grateful for that situation it's taught me so much I'm so grateful I'm here now I'm so grateful for my life I'm so grateful that I'm awake and aware and here in this moment. So I feel that you're becoming more comfortable with the situation and becoming more grateful for it and being more willing and able to express that. But ultimately it says, I'm comfortable looking in the mirror and expressing appreciation for myself from head to toe. So remember you are one. So when you start appreciating the journey, and expressing that to the universe and others and feeling grateful for everything you're going through, then really you are appreciating your twin from their head to their toe. And you love them from the top of their head to the tips of their toes. But when you are accepting of the journey and compassion and understanding and trusting and having faith and patience is power, then you start really bringing the energy of the connection together because there's no conditions or demands. So this is, yes, it's a message about expressing to yourself how much you are grateful for you and appreciating yourself and looking in the mirror and maybe being a bit vulnerable when you do that, but starting to appreciate yourself and to fall in love with you and be grateful for the physical body you are in and all the lessons you've learned. And maybe this is also looking in the mirror and doing mirror work saying thank you to yourself for being there, looking at yourself through the eyes of a child, and also doing the Honopona prayer, you know, looking at yourself and saying, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. And also knowing that when you do that, you are mirrors of each other. When you look into your own eyes, you see your twin there. So you're also apologizing to your twin for rushing them, for not believing in them, for trying to force them or force this or sort that. And you're saying, I'm sorry, please forgive me. So energetically, you are being forgiven for everything. And this means this is also what they are going through. If you're feeling it, they are feeling it. So if you do the Honopona prayer, 
and you say, please forgive me, I love you. These are also things that they are thinking and feeling. They need to love themselves more and thank themselves more and, you know, be there for themselves more and forgive themselves for all the things they've done. So take this message there, it resonates with you. I'm feeling this is a, a multifaceted message. I am comfortable looking in the mirror, looking at you, yourself, them, the situation, and feeling better because of it. Feeling grateful for the journey, feeling grateful for yourself, for everything you have, and feeling powerful from the top of your head for, to the tips of your toes. And also understanding that when you go through ascension, whether you are having trouble with your head or trouble with your toes, or whatever you're going through, it's all happening to grow your soul. So you may see the frog today or a white rabbit as a great sign of change. So what do we need to know today? And remember, follow the, right, the white rabbit. Follow the white rabbit. Isn't that powerful as we move towards the water rabbit of the new year? So the message today for everyone, for us divine families is give peace a chance. Isn't that powerful? So sometimes we're just not giving peace a chance. Sometimes we're not just not giving our twin the chance to move forward to us because we're constantly trying to reach out to them. We're not giving them the chance to show us how they feel because we're constantly showing them how we feel. So we have to stop trying and take back our power and let go to give peace a chance. It says, I am leaving you with a gift. And this is what the angels are bringing to you. And this is what your journey is teaching you. I'm bringing you and leaving you with a gift. Peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. I love that. That's from John 14, 27. So the message is there's a gift coming to you. And that gift is knowledge that peace begins within. Peace happens inside of you. It's not a gift that can be given from the world. So your twin, you may think that them being around you or communicating with you is what's going to calm you down and bring peace. But ultimately, you bring that into yourself. Just like we can choose happiness in any moment, we can also choose to be at peace through acceptance and understanding and feeling comfortable with where we are now. And that's the message coming through. So today, give peace a chance and say, OK, I'm going to look at this situation with fresh eyes. And I'm going to start to feel more comfortable about it. I'm going to accept it. I'm going to take it for what it is. And I'm going to be me. And I'm going to allow peace into my life by knowing I'm on the right path. I'm going to give peace a chance by knowing that the angels are with me all around me. And I'm not alone and I'm loved. And there's a reason why I'm here and why I've chosen to come to earth. I'm going to find peace within me because of that. And understand that all the trouble and struggle is actually growing me and benefiting me and giving my life value and substance. I'm going to focus on that today to feel free. And the angels are saying to you, as you move into the new year, everything is going to flow in because both of you are going to follow your heart as you follow the white rabbit into 2023. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.